how to update my details section in fetchcourses.ie. In order to update your details, you must first sign in to fetchcourses.ie. When you click sign in at the top of the screen, it will bring you to a page where you must enter your username and your fetch password. Your username is your email address or your mobile number. Your fetch password was the password you created upon registration. When you have signed into your fetch account, you will see Welcome to Fetch Courses along with three boxes My Applications, Course Finder, and My Details. You will be entering the box stating My Details. In the My Details tab, you will notice that you are brought to the General tab. If you look along the top under My Details, you will notice there are five tabs General, Social Welfare, Education, My Status, and Further Details. You will be asked to fill in each of these sections. You can do so by clicking Edit in the top right hand corner and entering the details into the text boxes. The General tab requests your first name and surname, address including air code, mobile number, date of birth, PPSN, gender, country of birth, nationality and emergency contact. For minors under the age of 18, parental and guardian details are required. Please note before you move on to the next tab, it is mandatory to read the data protection statement for GDPR purposes. When you click the Data Protection Statement blue hyperlink, it will open a new page. You must scroll to the end of this page and click Accept. Then click Save and move to the next tab. The next tab is the Social Welfare tab. It asks questions such as, do you have a medical card? Are you in receipt of social welfare payments? It requests information for those who are outside of the Euro Economic Area. Remember to click Save before moving to the next tab. The purpose of these questions are for statistical purposes. However, some may have other effects. If you have a medical card, you may be exempt from exam fees. The Educational tab asks questions such as what has been your highest educational attainment to date? Have you gained qualification through recognition of prior learning? Or do you require additional learning supports? ETBs may be able to provide learners with additional learning supports, such as readers or scribes where necessary. Remember, at the end of the page, when after inputting information, click Save before moving to the next tab. The My Status tab contains questions such as what was your employment status before undertaking the course? Or what is your last or current job? Remember to click Save before moving to the next tab. The Further Details tab only requires completion when an applicant commences the course. But if you wish to, to complete this, you can re-enter your password and click Authenticate. The Further Details tab is an optional questionnaire for statistical purposes and includes questions on ethnicity and cultural background, long-lasting conditions, unpaid personal care, and residency status for those from outside the European Economic Area. You may ask why there are so many questions in this section. This data helps ETBs aid learners with additional support where necessary. The data underpins funding requirements from the European Social Fund or the Department of Education. It assists ETBs in decision making. What kind of programmes should we be running and what kind of learners do we have? It ensures public sector transparency that we are performing, delivering quality programmes across the board.